Welcome to another episode of Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, here at the News Forum, where all voices matter. Well, there's always lots to talk about with our monthly panel, and so welcome back. Joining me is former Finance Minister, the Honorable Joe Oliver, uh, former Ontario Economic Development and Trade Minister, Sandra Pupatello, and former Alberta Cabinet Minister, the Honorable Gary Marr. He now heads the Canada West Foundation. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. Yeah, hello. We'll, uh, we'll start off with some economic news. Uh, looks like the economy shrank in the second quarter in this country. Uh, we've just had recently the uh, reaction of the Bank of Canada keeping rates at 5% uh, with a warning that perhaps they may go higher in the future, but not quite just yet. I'm sure they want to avoid a recession. So uh, any reaction to that? Who, who'd like to start us off? Well, let well, me just say I was doing cartwheels in Windsor because <laughs> the rates are too high now. And I don't know how we're going to get them back to a 2% level in the next couple of years. But I'm delighted that they've stopped rising. Uh, but Sandra, what about the economy? It looks like it's uh, declined in the second quarter. Are you worried about that at all? Well, Windsor is a bit of an anomaly. So let's just say that with the level of investment that's happening right now in Southern Ontario in automotive, um, right. I think we're, we're a little bit disjointed from what's happening to the national numbers. But I, I think if you follow what's going on in the economy, you can certainly feel it. Uh, people are responding in how they're spending their money, uh, what stocks are up. When, when the dollar store stocks are up, you know there's something going on. So it, I think uh, it just seems like uh, we're not surprised if you're a consumer in Canada, you're not surprised. The the sticker shock's been going on for a while. Yeah, Joe, uh, what you were about to say something? What are your comments? Yeah, I mean, look, you, you you suggested that the Bank of Canada wants to avoid a recession. Well, it may be too late. Um, this was a negative uh, quarter by zero point two percent. I mean, sort of flat, but still, but still negative. And uh, the next quarter doesn't look. Uh, Particularly good either, so it's it's po it's just possible uh, we're we we've, we've completed the first half of uh, of, a, of a two a month uh, two um, quarter uh, recession. I'm not necessarily predicting it, but it, it could easily happen because the the overall growth for for the economy is I think forecasted around zero. Um, you know, were you, were you uh, surprised uh, at that second quarter number, Joe? Well, I you know the the. The expectation was for an increase of 1.2 percent, and you know I don't, I don't have all the numbers, so I was I was you know thinking that would would likely happen. But you know we've had an extraordinary series of uh, of interest rate increases designed to to tame inflation with with the risk that everyone was aware of, including the Bank of Canada, uh, that it could drive the country into uh, into a recession because clearly it's designed. Uh, to uh, to cool down uh, consumer demand, and that demand has been uh, reduced, but but so has as other uh, demand, and uh, you know layered on top of that, of course, are the longer term economic uh, challenges of uh, poor productivity, uh, high uh, debt, uh, large interest rate uh, payments, and a, a housing crisis, which um, uh, you know which will will. You know, which is a major danger for uh, for the for the country. Now, clearly, uh, the good news for the housing uh, market is that rates haven't gone up. Right. And uh, you know, if we if we continue to have really insipid growth or no growth at all, or even a de de deflationary uh, move, uh, the, the Bank of Canada uh, will not be increasing uh, interest rates, and, and maybe not even for for this entire. Uh, cycle, but right. the risk is always that the, the downturn would be uh, would be greater than they they expected, and uh, you know we're still in a, a period uh, where uh, where there's an inversion of rates. That is to say, lower rate, uh, shorter rates are, are are higher than longer rates. Although that differential has decreased a bit, so people are hoping for a uh, a softer landing, but uh, a landing is is apparently here. Uh, Gary, we're going to have to give you short shrift. Unfortunately, we got about 30 seconds before the break. Uh, any uh, immediate thoughts? Well, just that uh, the issue of economic growth is not even across the country. Right. Here in Alberta, government revenues are up. 
uh, in the first half of uh, tw- this year, 51,000 uh, new Albertans came to from other parts let's, of the country. Let's return to that. I, I love this idea of a regional disparity on this. We're going to take a brief break, though. We'll be back with our guests after this break. Please stay with us. <laughs> 